Hello everyone, welcome to Chess Gyan YouTube channel. I'm Grand Master Prayadarshan Kamapan and you are watching Checkmates in Chess. So we've been talking about checkmates in different squares on the chessboard and we moved from A1, B1, C1 and now we are currently on the H2 square. So this is the ninth square of the chessboard that we are covering. So this is also the ninth episode. So here, the position that we have is black to play i wanted to choose a position that's very very easy you know to explain the logic and the topic and then go to progressively to not of our positions the one that we have on the board is black to play and if you do look the white king is kind of in a you know unsafe position there is really no escape squares except for h5 the king can only go to h5 because g4 is inaccessible um, h3 is inaccessible, H G, uh, g3 is inaccessible and so on. So black has a very simple way to checkmate and I hope you have found it. If you haven't yet, please pause the video, find the solution and then you know continue watching the video. So here the solution is root to h2 and it's not just a check but it's a checkmate because this one escape square that I was earlier mentioning with the h5 is also now controlled because you can see this h5 square also being controlled and the white king is under a check. So because of this, it's a checkmate and uh, you know, black wins the game. So let's move on to the next example that I have over here. So this position is also black to play. And if you do look, the king is kind of you know in a dangerous situation over here on h3 not that many escape squares but from a material perspective if you look uh, you know white has three pawns black has three pawns white has two bishops black has one bishop but black has a rook so basically this rook is in compensation for the bishop so black has an extra exchange black's an exchange up so that is a material advantage for black and more importantly, the point problem for white being this king that is kind of stuck on h3 because this rook is kind of cutting off the king from the second rank. And if white plays g4 or so on, you know, you just have two strong pawns over here which can capture. So the king is in a way trapped. So black comes up with a very forcing way to kind of, you know, checkmate the white king. Uh, please pause the video and find a solution and then you know once you have a clear idea or a way how you think you can increase black's advantage in this position continue uh, to watch the solution here yeah. so in this position black started his position with bishop g1 so the idea of this is pretty straightforward so the bishop is going to help the black rook from go from a2 to h2 and give a check because as I said, the king has no escape square and rook h2 is the big, big threat. So white was like, okay, I'll just give one check, you know, and uh, black goes king h7, very safe square because, you know, all these pawns are kind of keeping the king very safe. And this bishop is the only piece if by any chance could give a check, but it's not possible right now because it's seven is such a safe square for the king. So here, rook h2 check is coming up. So white tries his last defensive plan, which is to play g4 and create a square for the king on g3. But this doesn't really help white to get out of the checkmate because black plays f takes g4 check after king g3. The original idea was to go rook h2 checkmate earlier, but now instead of rook, the bishop lands on h2 and it is a checkmate because the king can't go to any of these highlighted squares because all of them are controlled by the black pieces. So there's no escape square and the king is under check and the king can't capture the bishop because the rook is defending the bishop. So it's game over. So let's move on to the next example. This position is white to play. So let me flip the board and serve pretty tough position in my opinion so you if you are trying to solve it it could take you more uh, you know time to calculate and understand the ideas than compared to the previous two positions that you just saw so i highly suggest you to pause the video and for some of you it may take even five minutes to find the answer maybe even more um, but as i said it's like warning this is like a tougher position than the previous ones that you saw so definitely more time required to solve the position
So here, again, the king's position is very risky. This time it's black's king and white's pieces should go after the black king. And if you do look, uh, an important point to note is that white has one bishop, but black has two bishops. So black is ahead in material. If we let black consolidate the position, black's extra material will help black to you know win the game so white has to act very quick so white has quite a few forcing moves actually you know basically when we talk about forcing moves we are kind of talking about checks captures and threats right so if you look only from a check perspective itself there's bishop d1 check there is queen d1 check there is g4 check knight g7 check knight f4 check so you see so many different checks that are possible so if you are considering uh, to find the move, you know, you should really be calculating all these moves if you don't have a clear idea which could lead you to a winning position or a checkmate. So here, if you look at something like bishop d1 check, for example, you know, black can play g4. And if you go, let's say, knight f4 check, he can play king g5. And you don't have queen g6 check because there's a knight here. And so it doesn't seem to be clear, like, you know, if like white can checkmate black in this position. So after bishop d1, it doesn't work, let's say. And let's look at something like queen d1. It looks very similar, right? g4, and then how do you give an x check for white? Doesn't look clear. So then your other option would be here, maybe g4 directly. This is definitely a possibility. But then black may be like, you know what, I'll take with my king. Because if I do take with a pawn, I do see there's a very, uh, like, you know, good idea for white, which is goes queen h2. And now there's no king g6 because this bishop is controlling. So it's a checkmate. But black will be like, you know, I'll be brave. I'll go king g4. And, you know, the mate is still not clearly spotted, like, you know, like, you know out there, right? And so on. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a checkmate here, but, you know, you've got to spend some more time calculating how to checkmate, right? Uh, or you could also consider maybe g4, king, h4, but this leads to a simple queen, g3, mate. And the other option, as I said, also is king, g6. You need to calculate this line. If king, g6, this knight takes a fight check, but then maybe he'll be like, you know what, I'll go king, g7, and then if you give a check, it's queen, e7, I'll go king, g8. You'll, you'll, white is definitely winning here and white has more material now when earlier white was materially down but you know there isn't a forced mate yet like that can be easily spotted so let's go back to the starting position and here white plays a beautiful sacrifice knight g7 so i just want to say this again if you had found a different way to win i'm not saying that this knight g7 is the only way to win in this position i just wanted to show you know how like you know white found a checkmate with the h2 square in mind as i said like for example g4 is definitely one of the lines that white has been like you know forced to win or like win a lot of material and then convert it into a win so after knight g7 check Bishop takes g7. So knight g7 is not a piece blunder. I mean, if you think, you know, black bishop on f8 maybe was missed by white. Not really. White is a very strong grandmaster. So bishop takes g7 was paid. And now white is two pieces down. But here comes the important point. White plays g4 check. And the point of it being, if king takes g4, then you go bishop d1 check. And if you go king h4, it's checkmate with queen h3, h2, or queen g3. And if you play bishop f3, it's just you're, you know, postponing the checkmate by one more. You just simply capture here with a check and then checkmate. And in case for g4, if black played fg4 like the game, then you just simply go queen h2. And it's a checkmate. And this is how the game ended. So we have seen three puzzles so far. And usually I show four positions on our previous episodes. So I just wanted to make a slight change to how, you know, we are doing the series. So what I have decided is that I will give the fourth position only the position part without, you know, kind of uh, explaining the solution. Kind of give it to you for solving. And if you do find the right solution, you can definitely put it on the comment section. So, that, you know, I can have a look at it and then, you know, we can discuss the puzzle later on right on the future episodes so this is the puzzle that i wanted you all to solve and this is black to play like take a good note of the position it's black to play you want to create ideas where you want to create a checkmate on this particular square that would be the only hint i'll be leaving you with so think of the various possibilities that you think you can do in this position and um 
you know, good luck, try to solve the puzzle. It's not that hard, I would say that. Compared to the previous question, it's, you know, comparatively easier. So black to play, find a way to checkmate the king. Or if white puts a better defense, maybe black will end up with a lot of extra material. Uh, so I'll, I'll put that, you know, kind of mention that. Because it's not like always, you know, there could be some way where, you know, the white side could sacrifice maybe all his rooks to find an escape square for the king and run somewhere but then you know to know if most material is sacrificed or like given up and then the remaining pieces will not uh, be good enough to defend the white king and black would just simply checkmate the white pieces so here i leave with you with this position to solve i'll see you all in another video very soon solve this puzzle put the your ideas or answers in the comment section i will go through them and i'll see you all very soon bye bye signing off as grandmaster priyadarshan